All right, everyone, welcome back to more Lost Judgment. We had an eventful previous uh, video that occurred with the whole uh, mass characters violating our base of operations and injuring a couple of our friends. So we're going to continue on from we last off, off, guys. So if anything else, I hope you all continue to enjoy. Thank you again for the love and support. Well, let's do this. All right, guys, welcome back. We are currently back home in Kamurocho and we are in need to head back to the Genda Law Offices. So that's our goal right now. And who's following me? Oh, good, good, good. Kaito. Let's get, let's go. Let's get moving. Excuse me. Hold on a minute, Todd. What? I'm noticing a lot more punk scurrying around than normal. Something's up. Really? Huh. Maybe so. Hey, don't I know you two? You detectives around here, ain't you? Yeah, so what? You ever seen this guy before? A few years ago, he was the manager at some girls' bar nearby. Haven't seen this guy around, or maybe I've just forgot. You really need all these meatheads just to find one dude? <laughs> Must be one slippery eel. Damn right he is. Now do you know him or not? Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Out of curiosity, what's a guy doing running a girl's bar? I don't think he actually ran the floor or anything. All I care about is him up and vanishing out of nowhere. So he's a missing person? Since when? Five years ago. I mean, disappearing from Kamurocho isn't that uncommon. Five years? What do you really expect to find? Your guy have a name? And who gave the order to find him? You trying to be cute? We're the ones asking the questions here. Don't fuck with us. Who's fucking with who, asshole? You want to ask questions? You're gonna have to ask nice. Nice or not, information has a price. It's our bread and butter, so we don't give handouts. How about I butter your brains on the sidewalk? Straight to throwing punches, huh? Even the Yakuza treated people better than that. <gasps> Fuck off! It's looking like a crane style fight here. Here we go. Woohoohoohoo! Okay, guys, come on. Don't do this. Nope, nope, nope. Nope! Ooh. Oh, that's gonna suck for you, dude. Alright, forget. Get you all. That's gonna suck! Oh no! Oh -ho -ho. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yep, stay down, dude. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh. I guess I got time to. Oh, oh, stagger. Oh, 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 stagger. Oh, stagger. Oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. That's another one down. Ooh, 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 ooh. What are you trying to do, guy? Alright, get you out of my face. What are you trying to do, dude? Come on, don't do this. Don't do that, come on, man. Right. Oh, oh, no. Oh, all right. Oh, I had it. Ooh, woo. Oh, I'm getting sick and tired. There you go. Drop it.
Hey, what's up? That all you guys got? Kamurocho used to be tough. Look at these punks. <laughs> Gaito san. Huh? It's Akatsu. First name Daimo. You know him? Former Tojo clan guy, ex Yakuza. Ex Yakuza? Well. If you say so. Yagami Detective Agency. Maybe I ought to just hire you guys for this. We're looking for a guy. You heard, didn't you? Miss Guy you're after. He was some kind of girls bar manager here in town. I take it this manhunt is your idea? No. Zoma's taking point on this one came from one of his connections. There's gonna be a big pile of cash in it for whoever finds him. Practically all of Kamurocho's in on this race. And Soma is? He's the one in charge of the RK gang. Of course, he's former Tojo clan too. First name Kazuki. That's crazy. Did the whole Tojo clan join this thing? Kaito would know all about all the bullshit rules it takes to keep the Yakuza running. They'll take their cut from you and call it the honorable thing to do in the same damn breath. Right, Kaito? In this new age, wouldn't you be better off joining us? You guys are too small time to pull that shit on me. <laughs> you know what else, though? In the Yakuza, if your boys went down, it was on you to get revenge for them. I don't give two shits about that these days. I would say, if there's someone disrespecting you, you might as well go get the jump on him. I would walk right up and stick him in the gut. <laughs> you wouldn't even see it coming, detective. Yeah? So don't go disrespecting me. There won't be a warning next time. Okay. Akatsu, you said? Did he get very far in the Tojo clan? Nah. He may have had the potential, but he never got to make anything of it. The whole thing came crashing down before he got his time in the sun. Soma's the same way, actually. They both tried to climb up the Yakuza ranks, but then the families disbanded. And by the time that happened, all the pawns were cleared off the board. Hmm. <laughs> so, now they're ex-Yakuza in the wind. And along comes this gang without all the rules and systems they were dealing with. You end up with RK, a network of thugs. RK? What does the acronym stand for? <laughs> Who the hell knows? After the Yakuza, I guess they wanted to sound more Western. If they think they can replace the Tojo clan, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah, but I wouldn't say they've been discriminating. Civilian punks who want quick cash are easy recruits. RK's happy to scoop him up. Next thing you know, you've got an asshole army. That's unfortunate, but... Speaking of the Tojo clan, have you talked to Higashi lately? Yeah. As far as ex-Tojo clan guys go, he's one of the good ones. The family left him in charge of that arcade, and now that they're gone, he's basically the owner. I heard he even gave some of the younger family guys jobs. If you get a chance, you ought to show up there every once in a while. Nah. Higashi, I am the last person in the world that guy wants to see. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, that's my goal. <laughs> the lady was like, oh, oh, I didn't mean to get pushed. Alright, uh, I want to mark it. There you go. It's a straightforward march. There's a bunch of thugs on our way. That's perfectly fine. A fight's gonna happen, a fight's gonna happen, you know? There you go! Nope, nope, don't waste it. Oh, wasted it by accident. It's fine, whatever. Why are you blocking, dude? Come on, stop blocking. Be a man. Oh! 
I had a chance to help out. Uh, here, I'll help you out right here. <laughs> there you go. What a waste. Alright, that takes care of that. Bunch of garbage people out here, man. All health, all food, yeah. Come on, Kaito, you can keep up with me. It's good for the legs. We're here anyway. Uh, is this the way? No. Over here? Up over here. Sorry, son. Yagami san made it. Sorry for the wait. I ran into some typical nonsense. We good to go? I've been good to go for a while. Ehara's waiting, and so are the answers. First thing we'll want to try to get is how involved he was in Mikoshiba's murder. From the way it's been so far, I doubt he'll be eager to tell you. If you won't open up, we'll have to play the trump card. Yagami san. Ehara won't know what hit him. I don't mind being the ace in the hole. Are you and your ego ready then, Yagami-san? Well, this ain't my department. Fill me in back at the office, okay? <laughs> I might even tidy the place up a bit if you're lucky. Lots of open bottles to polish off. Ha! <laughs> nice. Hold on a second, let me uh, see. As much as I want to use some of my uh, skill points, I'm going to wait till we get more in abundance. So oh, I can just... Reading? Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Let me talk to this guy. Let me talk to these people. I'll be holding down the fort here. You watch after salary san please. No problem. How are you doing, Genda? Don't think you can strong arm Ahara into confessing. The guy's a tough nut to crack. All right. Well, I know that much. Let's go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Why are you not opening the door? Are you waiting for me to do it? Alright, where are we going? Are we taking a taxi? Are we... It looks like we're taking a taxi. Because I don't see any of this on the map. Alright, so taxi it is. Um, hold on, where is... In the law office. The closest taxi is right here, actually. Let's go. Yep, alright. Four ten. That's a lot better. Tokyo Detention Center. Yep. Oh, I thought you'd lost already. <clears throat> so, what more could my lawyers want from me here? Well, normally I would say the same. However. A corpse turned up as you said it would. It turns out you have a pension for prophecy, Ahara-san. <laughs> prophecy, huh? Kinda dramatic. No Hoshino today? Did you fire the poor guy? Yagimi's my name, sir. In a past life, I used to work with Genda and Saori-san. But today, I'm in Serio High School in a contract advisory role. For one of their clubs. Serio High School? It's the same school Toshiro-kun went to four years ago. You'd know it. I happened to be out there working a separate case. But that was when Shirosake-sensei called, and so that's why I'm here. Well, well. Okay. Why are you here, then? That'd be obvious at this point, I'd think. As you know, Mikoshiba turned up as you said. His body was found in a warehouse. The question is, why did you know that well enough to proclaim it in court? Ha <laughs> ha. 
You might say it was a miracle. I wished hard enough for it to come true, and suddenly it did. Care to tell us why you'd wish for a miracle like that? Do you really need me to explain why? Mikoshiba, you blame him for Toshiro-kun's death, don't you? I do. Even though when you took the school to court, no evidence turned up. A third-party investigation found no bullying occurred, didn't it? At school, Mikoshiba tortured my son. He would beat him up, and then he'd demand all his money. That damn kid was a star student with high grades. My son's own class wouldn't stand up to him. To avoid being beaten, Toshiro used to. He'd steal money from me or his mother to make sure he could pay Mikoshiba off. Ahara-san, you seem to know a lot about what happened to your son. Do you have any proof? Would I have lost if I did? That school can rot in hell for all I care. Speaking of, you know what I'm convicted for. It was being a pervert. I admit to everything. I groped a businesswoman's ass in plain sight on a full train. There's no way I'm fighting for an appeal. So as for my defense, I'm in no need of lawyers anymore. Ahara-san, just a second. <sighs> Why would I give you that? Yagami-san. Hiromi Kashiba died in a lot of pain. His final moments were truly horrific. The last thing he felt must have been fear. After slitting his throat, his body was left to rot. <sighs> Doesn't that sound great? My gut tells me Ahara is guilty for sure. There's no doubt he's connected to Mikoshiba's murder. I need to hold his attention and convince him to stay. Gotta make him understand I have more info than the police do. You wanna go with this one. Take a look at this. Oh, Mikoshiba. <laughs> Looks like he's seen better days. Where'd you get the photo? From a teacher at Serio High. But where she got it is the interesting part. A strange woman gave it to her, said to stay away from the Mikoshiba case. <sighs> you remember Sawa Sensei, yes? She transferred to Serio four years ago, not long before your son passed away. Yeah, not a face I'd soon forget. She told the whole court he was never bullied. True. She did say that. And it's not just her I detest. The administrators, the lawyers, it felt like choking the life right out of them. But if anyone needed to pay, it was Mikoshiba. He got what he deserved. Nothing short of insane that they were just gonna let him get a teaching credential. It all comes back to a flawed, broken system of laws that has no business calling itself justice. And it was you, wasn't it? You orchestrated every aspect of how Mikoshiba would die. But you didn't act alone. Who were the people behind it? How'd you convince them to kill a man? <laughs> That's a good one. You, my friend, are way off. The way that interview went, Ahara is definitely guilty. But if we can't connect him to the murderers, we're left with no leads to follow. Yeah, I kept that secret on lockdown no matter what I asked. What could possibly link Ahara to those men? Damn it. And I was so close, too. To think they're still somewhere in Ijinjo. I need to find them before the trail goes cold. So you're heading back to Yokohama? Not tonight. Kaito's waiting for me in the office. I'll be in town for now. Okay. If anything changes, I'll contact one of you. Alright. Oh, Buzz. What's going on here? Uh-huh. Okay, there's a lover's dream over at Children's Park. People actually in the mascots. Truly a rare sighting. Sighting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Wait, what? Uh, mascot's the key word. Do I want to go... Uh, you know what? Sure. What's going on in the children's park? This doesn't seem like a usual goings-on, even for around here. Alright. Must be something. I don't mind getting more points anyway for my, uh... Oh, but why can't I hop over the thing? No, I can't... Why? Hey! Alright, fine, whatever. Oh, hi! There we go! Really, guy? Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. I got this for you. Ah! Ah! Anybody else want some? Oh, oh, come on, guy. No better. No better. No better. Oh, no, 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 no! Let's try this again. <laughs> That's funny. Get up. My health is astoundingly low right now. How close am I to an eatery? And there's another thing here too? Um, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Oh, there's more people. Uh, hold on. Is there an eatery here? No. Actually, they're they're walking forward, not back, so that's a good thing. I can make a right and get some grub in me, or maybe not. Okay, good, good, good. You don't see me. Leave me alone for now, guys. I am not in the mood. Cafe bar romance. I said, give me the goddamn money. Move it. I, I don't have the code to open the register. I'm just a part-timer. I don't give a shit what you are. Open it or you're dead. Hmm? What is that, a robbery? And cut. That's the last part of the shot. That's the last shot for the day. Thank you, everyone. Oh, good, good, good. Tomorrow morning, pick up where we last left off. They're shooting Office Alone 4 here. I wish I could have snuck in among the extras. According to the chat, they're shooting a robbery scene at another location, too. Are movies of robberies that popular? No, oh, it's a movie. Oh, I was worried for a second. Guess I should beat it. Don't want to get in the way of cleanup. That's another one to check out. Hold on a second. I want to eat. How close am I to an eatery? Uh... Alright, hold on a second. I need to go up here for that. Alright, there's an eatery up front. No more thugs either, so... That's a win! Oh! Eatery! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will have the burger. Look at that. Healing my health along with a drink. And some wild fried chicken. And we're good. Starving. Pretty tasty, thanks. Thank Thank you. You. Got my health back on point. Alright. How close are we now? Not that far off. I got punks to take down. Hi guys. Oh, oh, hey, 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 that was uncalled for, man. Come on. Be better. Be better, guys. Be better. Nope. Face away, face away, guys. Come on. Be better. Woo! <laughs> I like that. Like a freaking. Alright, hold on. Can I use anything here? Oh, I got this. Hey! Oh, no! No! Hey, be cool. Wait, what the hell? You just threw your friend. Alright, go. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. And. Back up. Alright, who's next? You. Ooh, ooh. You do? There, that's another one down. Back up, back up. 
Nope. I'll take this. And I'm gonna smack you around. Ow. Yeah, yeah, be afraid, dude. That's what you should be. Alright, it's another one down. Come on, dude. Ha! Really, guys? Oh, I think I know this anime. I can't remember the name though. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. Right, excuse me. I gotta check out this uh, little mascot thing going on. Oh, but not a thug nearby. I'm not gonna bother. Give me this item. Give me this item too. Thank you. I'm just getting everything and anything. Alright, cool. What in the... What is all this? Oh. Now I see why so many people were talking about it on Chatter. But seriously, what the hell happened here? Oh, sorry. I must apologize for the state of the place. What's that? Don't think I'd end up stuck at the park with all these costumes. I'm such a failure. And you are? Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Muroi, head of the community promotion for the city. One of my duties involves handing out these costumes to part-timers for PR events, public awareness, education, that sort of thing. Oh. You're a city promoter? Interesting. I'm Yagami, a detective here in town. And you say all these costumes are yours? Well, it's my fault they're here at any rate. Today we're kicking off a new campaign to foster a kinder, more peaceful Kamurocho. What does that mean? That sounds nice, albeit possibly a threat to my job. What sorts of things did you have in mind? Dealing with the pushy barkers and scouts, helping citizens in need, whatever might improve our public image without being too dangerous. Since this is supposed to be a big kickoff, I got all the costumes ready. Then I realized I forgot to get any storage for the day. I checked all the local rental companies, but it was just too last minute. The only reason I haven't given up completely is I remember the permit I filed for this park as our starting point, but now, looking around, I'm not sure this was much of a solution. I see. Yeah, I have to say, even I never left the park looking like this much of a mess before. Yeah, I suppose it does look rather shocking. By the way, Yagami-san, have you happened to hear this mascot's name around town yet? We first debuted the character a few years ago, so I'm hoping word's gotten around by now. Oh shoot, what was it? I think I saw it on Chatter. Um. Name again? Ah, uh, I believe it's Kamalop. He's Kamalop, right? Oh, that's right. What a relief that you know. He's a sweet darling boy who dreams of making Kamurocho a happier place for everyone. See? Because he's a rat. Oh. That sure is an angle. I need to get going. Let me just jump into one of these real quick. Well, Yagami-san, I'm off. Once Kamala hits the streets, the near-do-wells of Kamurocho are on burrowed a time. Ha ha ha. That's cool. I actually do want to wear those types of mascot, uh, what you call it, costumes. Hang on, is he really planning to clean up the streets wearing that? <sighs> Hope he knows what he's doing. My head hurts. Hmm? Oh, there's more than one? Did I hear someone? Don't tell me. Someone's in one of these. Which one? Maybe the noise amp would help. All right. Oh, I can hear. This isn't it. There it is. You? I can hear. Nope. There's somewhere. There it is. I think I hear a voice from this one. Hmm. I'll open this thing up. Oh, here we go. <sighs> oh, it's a cutie. Huh? Huh? Excuse me. Please give me my head back. Huh. Ah, right. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, what? 
why you look like you're about to pass out. Hey. Seriously, are you okay? You should take a breather at the very least. Oh. Please don't talk to me, just give me my head. Uh, this is weird, but I really don't think she's going to interact with me until I give her the head back. Yeah. Here's your head. So, what are you doing in one of these here? Well, I've been working all around town since this morning, but when I came here for my break, since it's our one designated spot, that was when I found out. The zipper on this suit's busted. I can't get it off. Hmm. So you've been in that thing all day. Why don't you ask someone for help? Uh, I'd just die. Huh? My head is killing me. If she's been working all day in that suit, she could be in danger of heat stroke, even in winter. I should get her some water. Alright, just wait here. I'll be back. I'll get you some water. Don't budge. Alright, I get it now. Wait, do I have water? I think I have water. Let me talk to her. I need to hurry and get the mask out get some water. There you go. I do. Hey. You're still holding up? Here's the water. Be sure to drink it slowly. Let me just, uh, get the head off for you. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Third time's a charm. So cold. So good. Feeling better now? Huh. So she's the type that can only talk to me in the suit. Thank you, you're a real lifesaver. Can she not talk to people without the costume? I'm not shy enough that eye contact isn't my thing, even when I'm on the job. Customers, coworkers, bosses. I guess so. You're lucky you got the job then, miss. I imagine finding a job where you don't look at anyone to be tough. But look, this is the perfect gig. As long as I'm in Kamalov, I can talk to someone without actually looking at them in the eye. Huh. So you're not looking at me right now. Uh, sorry, but no. Um. Well. It's fine. Wait, but if that's the case, why didn't you ask for help while you were still in costume? You know, see if your boss or someone else could help you get it, get out of it for a break. That's just so embarrassing. And if someone helps me take it off, then we'd just be standing there looking at each other. I just can't do it. Boy, that sounds tough. So I have to get back to work. I don't want to get fired. See you around. Oh. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Maybe you should rest a bit longer. But I can't lose this job. Not after it took me so long to... Here we go. <laughs> oh. I need to go. I have to. Well, she's definitely got the determination. But I don't think she's healthy enough to be on the streets in a mascot outfit right now. Hey, so your campaign's about improving the image of the city, right? How about I do that in your place while you rest up? Based on what your boss said, I can handle it no problem. Huh? You... Do that for me? But why? I'm not sure I could ask a stranger to just work for me like that. Well then, why don't you hire me to do it? Yeah. I'm a detective here in town. Takayuki Yagami. I take all kinds of cases from tracking down adulterers to rescuing people's cats. So you're just to help people, I see. If you hire me to help you out, I'll make sure you don't get fired. At least today anyway. Not a bad deal, right? I'm only saying so because I don't think it's a good idea for you to be out and about in a costume right now. And this PR campaign sounds pretty involved. Yes. No, you're right. I get it. So, you really wouldn't mind filling in for me? Yep. Absolutely, Miss, uh... Minato. Minato Todo. Minato-chan. I should get going. Make sure you rest up, okay? Yes. Thank you. Also, you don't have to go right away, Yagami-san. You have some time if you need it. Alright. Ah, uh, I'll help you now. I got time. Yeah. I'm ready to hit the streets. That's for the outfit? I guess I can pick up any of these. Ha! <laughs> Let's go. Well, unless there's anything else, I'll be off. Sorry to make you do this. Don't worry about it. It's just for the job. I mean, not the chance. Okay, seriously, you should get rest. Heat strokes can be really serious. Right, so uh, you need to give the flyers. Oh, he's gone. Hmm.
I didn't expect walking around this to be so tough. Hard to see too. I got way more respect for the people in these things now. The half part's really bad. These windows aren't very useful. Well, let's get this over with as soon as possible. Oh yeah. What am I actually supposed to do? Well, Yagami-san, I'm off. Once Kamalo hits the streets, the near-do wells of Kamalo are on borrowed time. That Moe guy said something about dealing with pushy barkers and scouts. He also mentioned helping people in need. Maybe I should just focus on that kind of stuff. Probably be safest for Minato-chan's job. Let's see what's going on around here. Shouldn't be too hard. Although, am I supposed to be doing this in character? What is Kamalo up like anyway? Let's try to work in some rabbit puns and see if that covers me. Okay. <laughs> oh, aren't you a cutie? You make a you make it big real quick. You can even be a number one girl at our place. I'm serious. Oh, another one of those unsavory recruiters. I'm sorry. I'm in a hurry. Hey, just hear me out. All you gotta do is enjoy some drinks and chat up some guys, and you get some big money. Doesn't that sound great? Our place is right over there. Just hear us out. Come on. Let's go. Please. Let me go. A pushy scout. The exact kind of thing Mori said uh, Kamalup is trying to combat. But what can I do in this getup? Ah, uh, make her heroic yet punny stand? Or take him out Kamalup style? I kind of want to do this. But I also want to see this. Let's see the punny stand. Hey. You there, sky scoundrel. What? Bunhand, the nice lady, right this instant. Man, maybe I shouldn't have tried doing a character. Well, whatever the point is, I'm not letting you drag this woman off. Now let's... Last warning. Let. Her. Go. Uh? What the hell are you gonna do? Don't you have some balloons you gotta hand out to kids? Fuck off already. Oh. Ugh. So strong. What's with this? Whatever it is. No way. If you had enough, you better be done hassling people. And I'm not whatever. I'm the rabbit making Kamalo a happier place for everyone. Come along. God, how'd I lose to you? I agree. Hope this campaign's doing some good. I really don't want to do this for much longer. Um, thank you. You really saved me back there. I was so scared. Don't worry about it, ma'am. But please be careful. There may be others out here like him. Right, I will. Keep up the good work, Kamalup Gun. I guess this kind of thing is Murai san is looking for. I suppose the element of surprise is useful, especially considering how much I'm getting underestimated in this. Well, time to get back on the beat. Um I am Kamalup, here to save the day. Oh, looks like someone here needs a talking to. Come on, guy. Just a quick pop in. It's only 5,000. Got plenty of cuties to choose from. What do you say? No, um, uh, I'm quite fine. Thank you. What? You got somewhere to be? If not, just step inside for a quick look. If you don't like the place, you can leave. Well, I, uh, um, found an extra pushy barker. Maybe I should step in. Hey. Hey, you have a hearing problem? The guy said leave him alone. What in the? Come up! Wanna know my problem? It's you getting the way of my work, so take your stupid hat and your stupid grin and fuck off out of here. Ah! <laughs> That's the Kamala up way. <laughs> Call that the Kamala Pop Hop. What even are you? Coercion violence against the city mascot? You're lucky I don't have you cuffed and taken in. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you so much. My wife would have killed me if she found out I even went in there. Don't mention it. Well, I should get back on patrol. You stay safe, okay? Yes, keep it up, Kamalup Gun. Ah, another job well done. Thanks to Kamalup the Hop Hopper. What's this here? Oh, ah, yeah, I've been hearing about them bunch too. Hi, ladies. Stay safe out there. It's laid out. And you shouldn't be talking to your cell phone, unaware of your surroundings, miss?
Mako-chan, where are you? Excuse me. Something wrong, ma'am? <gasps> you scared me. Oh, excuse me. I just thought maybe you needed some help. Actually, my son's lost. I don't want to leave here in case he comes back, so I haven't been able to look for him. I'm not sure what to do now. Okay. I'll go find him for you then. What does he look like? He's wearing blue shoes and a checker coat. Blue shoes and checker coat. Got it. You just keep waiting here, ma'am. I'll, uh, I'll have him back in two twitches of a whisker. And now what? <laughs> Blue shoes, checker coat. Alright. Can I run? No. Alright. I'll find the kid. A checkered suit and blue shoes. Where are you hiding, little one? Where are you hiding? It's time for Kamlup to do his job. Ah, I don't see a kid here with a checkered coat and blue shoes. But I'm on it. I'm on it, ma'am. I'm on it. Is he hiding? Checkered coat and blue shoes. Oh. There it is. Yep. Red boots. You're not, you're not who I'm looking for. But maybe you know someone. Maybe it's a friend of yours. Could this kid be Mako-chan? Let's speak to the kid. You Mako-chan, right? Your mom's been worried. Let's go find her. I'm what? Rico. My mom told me I shouldn't go places with strangers. Are you trying to kidnap me? No! Different kid. Sorry, wrong person. <laughs> okay, weird. I knew it wasn't him. But I thought she'd know someone or know him. Alright, gotta find another kid. At you. The mom is over there. Wait. Wait. Ah, blue shoes. Nah, I check her coat though. Ah. Uh, you're just wearing a plain coat. Well, it's a blue coat. Alright, maybe you're hiding somewhere else, kid. Are you on the... Ah. She said checkered coat and... Uh, I mean, yeah, checkered coat and blue shoes. Where's that kid hiding? Can't imagine it being. Yeah, no matter where I go, can't seem to find him or her. No, I'm here assuming the kid is hiding here because I'm not seeing any other kid. Uh, let me... Yeah, no one's at the very center of this festival thing. And the only kid I see right now is this kid over here. Which is unfortunate because this kid has the thing. I'm gonna end up scaring another kid, watch. It's gonna suck. Can I go any further? Is the boundary gonna stop me? Yep. Let's speak to the kid. Mako-chan, your mom sent me. My name is Manato. Excuse me, who are you going up to children asking them to follow what? you? I don't report you right now. No, no, you don't understand. I'm looking for a lost kid for his mom. Bye-bye, <laughs> giant bunny. Oh, I should pay closer attention before approaching next time. I am. The kid is not here. Alright. No go. Alright, let's oh nope, that's definitely not wait, yes it is. Found you. Yes it is. Your mom's worried what? sick. You scared me. Wow, that's exactly how mom reacted. 
Kids fits the description too. No mistaking it. Oh, right, my mom. I saw her right interested, so I could pet. Why would you? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> I'll take you to her right now. Is that all right? Okay, thank you. Mako chan, I'm so glad you're all right. Sorry. Thank you so much, Kamalup son. You're a real lifesaver. It's my pleasure to help, ma'am. Bye, rat, ma rat. No, it's a bunny. Okay, if that doesn't do for the PR campaign, I don't know what will. I should get back to Minato Chan before it shifts over. Hmm? Where's Minato Chan go? She was right here. Well, anyway, I'm getting the hell out of this. Okay, guess I'll just leave it here with the rest of them. I wonder where Minato Chan is, though. I wanted to update her real quick at least. Um, Yagami san? Hmm? Oh! Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Why are you still in costume? Because I can't talk without it on. Seriously, poor girl. By the way. Feeling any better yet? Oh, yes, quite a bit, thanks to you. It's good to hear. I worked around the theater square for you. Taught some pushy recruiters a lesson, helped out a couple of kids. It was pretty tough. What would this get up? You taught lessons? Oh, Yagami-san, we meet again. Excuse me. What are san What's the rush? Oh, the most amazing thing happened. Kamala was acting like a real local hero over at the theater square, fighting off recruiters, helping troubled children. Apparently, the office is getting flooded with calls. People are thanking Kamala, asking when he'll come back. Thought the son was in charge of the theater square, so it must have been her. I wonder where she is now. Oh, she's right there. Oh, you did all that, Thought san Thank you so much. All you were asked was to hand out flyers, but you went above and beyond. I really appreciate it. What? Here's your pay for today. And a bit extra. I wanted to give you a bonus for all the good you've done for the city and for Kamala. Although I really got my work cut out for me now, I'd better step up, step up on my own efforts as Kamala, or I might start to look bad. Well, I should get going. Thanks again, and see you next time, Tuttle-san. And Yagami-san, you should consider some Kamala work for yourself. Who knows? You might be surprised to find how well you fit the role. Ah, huh. oh, right. Uh, bad chance, huh? This is all damn. It smells kind of funky too. Guess we'll get to this one. Oh, we'll have this get cleaned up. Sorry. <laughs> so, all I had to do was send out flyers. Sorry, I tried to tell you, but you left while I was explaining. Um. I did, didn't I? Guess I should be the one to apologize. No, no, please don't. I really am sorry. I didn't explain my job well at all. But, wow, Yagami-san, you're pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean... I know better than most just how much of a pain these costumes can be, but you actually went out and kicked some butt in one. And then there's me who can't even look people in the eye while wearing this. Minato-chan. I'm just so sick of it, being all clammed up like this every day. I wonder if I'll ever be able to come out of my shell. I want to get stronger so I can actually be part of this world as myself. Minato-chan. Sure, you can do that. Think about it. You've already come on to the realization that you want to change. That's a pretty big first step. Or maybe a first crack in your shell. Ah, huh, not bad. You know what? Maybe I could take this off just for a bit. What? Really? Would you be willing to witness this moment? Yeah. I'd be honored. Hey, you've been hiding a real cute face in there. Ah. Oh, that's good for today. Any more and I might die. Hmm. Well, baby steps. I like the costume allows for much bigger steps than that. Well, um, this is for the job today. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. But isn't this everything you made today? And it's a lot too. I can't take all this. No, it's fine. Please take it. Just think of it as my thanks for putting all your hard work in my name. But then, um, could you keep helping me out until I'm able to get out of this costume, like, for good? Actually, yeah. I'm hiring you for another job. Think of this as a deposit. Deposit, huh? <laughs> gotcha. Sure. I'll take the case and see it through to the end. Oh, great. Okay. We did get it to the end. Uh, what? See you later. <laughs> Just really blown up into a real case. Hopefully we can get her talking face to face without feeling like she's going to die. Although, I admit hiding in one of those costumes when things aren't going my way does, some, does sound somewhat appealing. I have the dragon. <laughs> That's cool.
girlfriends. You'll meet lots of different women around town, but only a handful have the potential to be your girlfriend. After getting yourself a girlfriend, you can chat her up and ask her out on dates. As they interact with you more, they'll grow more intimate and may trigger a new girlfriend-related events. Chat as often as you can and something special might happen when you get really close. Ah, I remember doing that. Alright, well, let's head back home. It's over here. Home sweet home. Kaito-san, I'm back. Kaito-san? Oh, uh, hey, did you see that email from Tsukumo? Huh? Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It's something you gotta see, though. What is it? Something happened? It's the murder footage. Mikoshiba's murder ended up on the internet. It's going viral on all the social media sites. You gotta forgive me. I didn't know he'd do it. I swear. Toshiro Kun was okay. I didn't think. I didn't know he'd kill himself. I really didn't know. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. I'll spend the rest of my life making up for it. an alibi for this, doesn't he? They already found him guilty, and that's the whole reason he couldn't have killed Mikoshiba, right? But if that's the case, what the hell is this? One way or another, either this thing is staged, or his entire alibi was a massive cover-up. They can't both be true. But there's something I just can't shake. If you want my opinion on it, this looks real. I need to have another chat with Ahara. Damn it. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. 